What's really important in being a business owner is about actually having an understanding about what are the current strategies that you've got in play. Now, this is such an important conversation because sitting inside of businesses today, you go to a great training session, you come back, you get all inspired, you've got a million and one different things that you're gonna go and do. Yet the reality of it is, is that you've got to put these things in play and nothing actually happens. And these great initiatives are lost within a couple of minutes because you actually had the strategy, but you didn't get really clear about what the measurement was. Now, why is that so important to get the measurement right? Is that that then should allow the business to move into a position of adjustment to be able to adjust if the strategy actually isn't achieving what we wanted to do. So let me give you a great idea on this. One of the great things I hear inside a business is, is that recruitment is at the top of what great estate agencies need to do. But yet the strategy is, is that we're gonna go and build this new website and we're gonna have a page on there about working with us. And so we go and build the working with us page and we do a video and we have a contact form and all those things there, but we never measure it. And then off the back of that, it doesn't actually help us with recruitment at all and we don't adjust the strategy. And so then off the back of that, we never actually achieve what we set out to go and do. What great real estate people do is that they think inside a business and they say, okay, our strategy is this, but let's get really clear about how we're gonna go and measure it. And we determine the way that we measure at the point of actually determining the strategy. And then off the back of that, we're looking for constant improvement around what we can do to get it better, to get it faster, to make sure that we're more adaptive in the way that we go to work that strategy. Now, this is such an important conversation because one of the biggest costs in business is wastage. Wastage of energy, wastage of effort, wastage of resources, because we're doing things that ultimately just don't produce results. And it's like the classic of the old school principle says, go door knock, go cold call, go do this, or go spend all this money on social but yet we actually don't measure the result and nor do we adjust when we're not achieving what we actually wanted to do. The secret to business today is really finding out what makes you seriously good and amplifying that like there's no tomorrow. Put all your resources directly into that and let that do some seriously good things. But the challenge is that if you don't get clear on that, you end up being really broad about all the strategies that you're doing and you never go deep to really get the penetration, to get that conversation around what really gets you the result. So for me, I will look at it. I think that a lot of real estate agents waste tons of money on marketing. And if I go to have a quick look at it, I think that there was a, there's been a period where we've seen these real estate agents tell us just how successful they've been. You know, like, you know what, we've done this many fees. It's been a record month. It's been absolutely incredible. We did 100, 200, 500 million dollars in sales. And all of those things are really good, but I'm not sure how that actually fundamentally helps the customer. And this is an interesting conversation because what marketing should really do is to foundationally answer key questions that customers actually have and to fundamentally help them through that. Now we know that there's 11 reasons why people move, but how much does your marketing relate to fixing the problem that one of those 11 different customers might actually have? Because if the marketing is tailored towards what the customer problems are, bang, it lands and actually gets resolved. So this is an interesting conversation is, is that, let's say that we take property management. One of the ideas for a campaign that we had was is that you know everyone does property management, but we do it really well. That's the tagline and underneath that, these are the specific things that we know are incredibly important when it actually comes to selecting a property manager. And then we go to talk about the mitigation of risk, CapEx and the whole conversation around the capital improvement of the property, what we're actually doing in terms of rental return, how we maximize that, aligning lease end dates, you get it. There's a whole range of things, but we actually need to make sure that our marketing really lands because what it actually is doing is it's really answering the real world problems that our customers go through. If you get the strategy right, please make sure you have clarity on how you're gonna go and measure it and then adjust if you're not actually getting the result. And I think that this is the really important thing. We had a ton of social media gurus and experts come in and tell us that this and that and this and that and you know what, we've done this many thousands of dollars worth of sales for you on this $1,000 ad spend. Yet when I went and had a look at all the people that actually bought, there were people that I'd already had phone calls with, that we'd already connected with, that I'd already seen in the street, that I'd bought a coffee for, that I had a lunch with the week before. And the reality of it was, is that it actually didn't really produce the conversion. It just happened to be that that was the point when they clicked. And this is the interesting conversation is, is that no one medium in isolation works on its own, but please get clear inside of your business. Is this about awareness campaigns or is this about conversion campaigns? because awareness campaigns are like a feel good, but no one can measure the success, whereas conversion campaigns are getting really clear that this led to the outcome. So, time to level up, get clear in business, write out a list of all the current strategies you've got in play, 
then get really clear how are we actually measuring this to know whether or not we're successful. And the ability to narrow down, to really focus on one particular thing is the thing that allows your business to massively amplify because you get seriously good at that. Make the decision to go pro. We look forward to seeing you in our next month's Growth Leadership and Management Tip.